reality has opened up with psychedelics. The imagination is projected upon reality in new shapes and auras and virtues and colors and smiles and griefs and pains and tortures and agonies and myths and heavens. The new book, A Book of Torture, was written in a psychedelic state. It was written following and during use of many hallucinogens and psychedelics. Lift not the painted veil which those who live call life, says Shelley. But I have been where the psychedelics sing, making madrigals with the lumpen bodies of monsters growing into the landscape. The colors of angels and the real patterns of Dr. Strange slipped through the filter of consciousness. All of this was done for consciousness. Never has so much been stirred by so few molecules. So I lay back watching the packs of giant white wolves and cathedrals flying through the minds of eagles. I knew intensely and secretly the waves that were crashing the shores of the coal bin in the mine's basement. As dark eyes closed in an ecstasy of timelessness. Acid Memento too. With freewheeling Frank, in the bright sun, on the overstuffed couch, we pass back and forth the red gold powder in a tiny toy pirate chest, taking only a flitter of pigment on the tongue. The room expands in a slow, warm blast of Hell's Angel posters and leather and velvet and swastikas and storms of Joan Baez. Then a few more tastes of the powder. Bitter as Kool-Aid, bitter as Kool-Aid. I flash in the body of a hummingbird through the smell of a sagebrush on the high plateau of the Andes, lofty as Faust over infinite oil spills of the future where a million species die in the desert of greasy car wrecks.